And it's Ken Kratzer for Cam Vets Media. We're at Army football spring practice, and uh, cadets are back after their spring break. We have a chance to talk to defensive lineman Dre Miller. Dre, good to see you. How's practice? How's to be back at school? Great to be back. Great to be back with the boys, back on the field, back in the core. And, you know, we had to rejuvenate in 12 days, but now it's time to get back to work. Very good. Now tell us a little bit um, about uh, your career at Army. We see you getting out on the field. Tell us about some of the highlights for you so far. Um, highlight, as all as we all know, Army, Navy, goal line stand. So the highlight is just being out there with the boys. You know, the seniors that just uh, left, I was very tight with a lot of them. Austin Hill, Nate Smith, Darius Richardson, Chris Frey. You know, just being out there with them and playing and giving everything I got for them so their last ride could be great. Tell us about the goal line stand that stands out in your mind. Uh, I was right there at Navy uh, at the end, uh, right in the end zone. Tell us about uh, the play you're thinking of. You know, it, it was special because, like, I'm in there, and I'm happy my teammates and my coach trusted me to be in there on that critical play. And, you know, just being in there with the boys, Leo Lowe and Kyle Lewis, like, it, it was surreal, like, I don't even remember the play when it happened. That's how surreal it was. That was one of those plays that we all, everybody on the sidelines, everybody on the field, they dream of when they were young. And that was a moment that we all prayed to be in, in the big lights, you know, in a close game and come out on top. Well, I was I was standing 12 yards behind you guys, right, the, right in the end zone. And Leo Lowen and Jimmy Charlotte, I saw I just plug the holes. Did you ever see the ball? Uh, Leo Lowen and I had the ball in our hands. <laughs> we were both stripping at the ball. Uh, I can remember, I remember vividly Kyle Lewis being in the backfield, you know, all of us yelling, that's our ball, that's our ball. You know, it was, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful moment, you know. It was a great moment to be with the team. It's all about the team. All of us put in the work for that moment. Like, those 11 players, it wasn't just them that, that was their moment. It was everybody on the sidelines moment because from scout team to to the starters, to the twos, to the threes, we all put in that work, gave each other looks all year for that moment to happen. Well, that was a, a special moment in the history of Army football, millions watching on television, and you, you guys made the play. Trey, tell us a little bit about your life at West Point. Uh, what, what do you study, and, and how do you handle both football and academics here? So I'm a defensive strategic studies major. Uh, it's basically why we go to war, and it teaches you how to think in a war mindset. Um, it's just time management, being able to do right, do your best, show people you care. Like Coach Munkin always says, if you think about those three things throughout your career as a football player and as a cadet, it will never lead you astray. You'll always do the right thing. Your grades will be fine, and you'll do great up here as well. You'll fit in. How is it uh, for you approaching, uh, finishing up your junior year? Just a very difficult time, and then thinking about uh, you lot know, summer training, and then back to football, and then your senior year. How do, how do you feel about your progression here at West Point? It's all been a, a, a incline, you know. I from my freshman year to now, I can see the growth I've had on the field and in the core cadets. You know, um, going from that kid to an adult mindset, being able to focus more, uh, throwing out those like immature thoughts of, oh, I want to do this, I want to do this, and being able to focus on the things that are right in front of me, like football and stuff like that. Well, you're gaining maturity, being a leader. What's it like to be one of the older guys on the team now, experience, and uh, tell and, and show the younger players how to do things? It's great because I've always had great leaders that were above me, Nolan Cockle, Quabina Bonsu, Chris Frey, Austin Hill, Nate Smith, Darius Richardson, so I've learned from them. And it's just great being able to show the young guys our brand of football and the standard we have here. And it, it, it's easy because everybody on this team knows how to buy into our culture or they wouldn't be here. I was a few, just six weeks of school left and uh, you'll see the seniors on the team graduate uh, the end of May. It's gonna be a uh, bittersweet. I'm happy to see them go, but it's a, it sucks to not be able to talk to them every day and not see them every day because they were a bright spot. Yeah, I've been with them for three three years, and you know it's gonna be weird not having them here. Dre Miller from Savannah, Georgia. Great to see you, and our best wishes as you finish out your junior year 
here at West Point. Great to talk. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Pleasure. This is Ken Kratzer for Cam Vets Media.